Hey everybody, it's I. I was gonna vlog a little later, but we are gonna go furniture shopping today because we're doing that redecorating thing and we're gonna get rid of a couple of old things and bring in the new. I still have a lot of clutter, so there's still a lot of clutter in my mind. I have tons of paperwork on my desk and it really puts a, a load on your mind all day. You can't do anything when you have things like that in your life. That, you know, unfinished things, unfinished business. But the upside of today is that the diet has become second nature. It's like, now, I, now I'm able to concentrate on things other than a diet and then when it's lunchtime, just eat and know that I'm on the protocol you know I don't have to think twice so that's gonna be really good for me for the future because it's already becoming a habit so all I need to do is not recreate to the old habits and I don't think I'll I'll be doing that I think it's gonna be pretty easy from here on especially when I get on p3 because I love p3 eating it makes me feel good and I still get to have my favorite things as long as I stay away from the rice, which I've realized now that I'm not actually addicted to the fact that I had to have it, but the habit of having it all the time. So that is so good. I feel so good about that for the future. For people who don't like water, because I was watching Violet Girl the other day and how she just can't stand drinking water plain. And I totally understand that. I used to be like that. Because I've been bored lately, because I've been on the protocol pretty long, I started doing the crystal light. I love it. I put it in my water. This is a refill. I put filtered tap water and uh, added crystal light in it. And I don't add the whole package because it gets to be really sweet. And it has, I know it has aspartame in there, but I've been drinking this for the last three days and it hasn't given me cravings or been any effect on my weight. So that's good, because I know aspartame is supposed to give you cravings. Okay, now my stats. Uh, let's see. With no cheating, I am down a whole pound today. Yay for me! So I'm down to 130.4 pounds and that's only 0.2 over LDW, which is totally awesome because I thought oh, that LDW was a fluke for me because <laughs> I completely went from 132, skipped over my 131s and went straight to 130.2. That was awesome at the time, but then after that you're constantly trying to stay in the two pound range of your LDW and I'm, and I'm like, why did I have to skip that pound? Because <laughs> now it's really hard to do. But also with Tom there, it was hard for me. I mean, with Tom uh, approaching, it was really hard for me to, to get to LDW because I was retaining water and all that screwy stuff that Tom does to you. But Tom started yesterday and when Tom starts, the weight gain starts, I mean the weight, the releases start up again. So. So that's good. So it was a loss of 0.8 yesterday and a loss of a pound today. So I'm on my way below LDW. And for people who don't know, my target weight is about three or five pounds away. So 125, 127, something like that. Because I'm trying to not only lose some excess fat around weird areas, but also to give me a little cushion because if I get down to 127, then if I'm going to maintain the two pound, you know, if I'm going to maintain a weight around the two, around two pounds of that weight, I will still be under 130. So that's happiness. <laughs> but I do know I checked my driver's license today and my weight is lower than my driver's license. So yay! My driver's license says 135, and I think I even lied on that one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I lied on that one. I'm pretty sure I was about 145 when I uh, got my driver's license renewed. I was, you know, checking my bank accounts and stuff, and I was checking some of my other bills, and I forgot the password. So, you know, it says forgot password, you click on it, and then they give you a bunch of questions, and then they, then if uh, they verify you, you get your password, right? Well. One of the questions was, what's your favorite 
beverage. And I was like, I actually had to think about it. Because, and then I had to think back, what was my favorite beverage pre HCG? Diet Coke, right? But it was, it was just a weird feeling because I actually had to think about it. Like, well, that's not my favorite beverage anymore. Even through, even when I was on P3, I can't finish a can of Diet Coke. I'll drink like half of it. My husband was like, oh, you're just wasting those cans of Diet Coke. I go, I know, but it's, it's a good thing. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I thought I'd just share a little tidbit with you. Everything else uh, is okay besides the purging. That's still a big strain on my mind right now. And hopefully I'm done by the end of next week. I'm crossing my fingers. But it's it's a huge undertaking for those of you guys ha who have a fairly large house. <laughs> I just beg that my house cleaners who come once a week, I just beg them to help me do laundry. <laughs> Well, actually, I didn't have to beg them to notice every week that I'm falling behind little by little. I'm just falling behind and that's because I just can't keep up with cleaning after three kids, cleaning the house, and doing laundry for five people. It's just... I don't know. And I'm a, I'm a stay-at-home mom. And, and plus, you know, that's in addition to um, helping your kids do homework because two of, uh, one of my kids can't read yet very well. I mean, he can read, but not, you know, some of the words that are in the homework uh, sheets. And so I, I still have to help him. And then at the same time, keep my preschooler occupied while the two are doing their homework because now he's bored and, you know, he plays video games, but I don't want him on video games all night long because then he starts rubbing his eyes and I'm scared like uh, his vision's going to go bad or something. Um, and then you have all these projects. It's just, you know, I think if I worked a regular job, uh, I wouldn't be taking on all these projects, right? Because you'd be working a job and then you'd go, there's no way I'm gonna start do that project. I can't do that, I, I work 40 hours a week. But then when you're not working 40 hours a week, you like jump on all these projects and you have all this tremendous responsibility on you you know from volunteering at school and you know just stuff you wouldn't do if you had a regular job um i don't know i think i'm just every three months or so you get like burned out from being at home 24 7 so i need a break so i think next month we're gonna angel and i are gonna like fly over to vegas or something in fact i'm pretty sure angel and i are gonna fly over to vegas so I might see Rich, <laughs> but that would be really cool to vlog from Vegas. What do you think? I'll just bring my my little HD flip just videotape. The freaks in Vegas. <laughs> okay, that's it. I was just totally rambling today, and I totally want to do my state stereotype, but I'm just I can't get anything scripted. I watched. Jossies yesterday, oh my gosh, I almost had a heart attack. It was so funny. And I showed my husband and he's like, uh, how are you gonna follow that? I'm like, I'm not gonna try to follow that. I mean, what I'm gonna do is completely different from the South, you know. I don't know, I just, I w I just wish someone would do Southern California because then I don't have to cover Southern California, which I actually grew up there. So I'm trying to, trying to figure out whether I should do Southern or Northern California because there's so many stereotypes that I don't know if I can do it all in one so but uh, we'll try um, we'll see what happens competition has been extended let me remind you again to January 31st end of the month so so y'all who don't know anything about it hop over to HCG party trains um, site and get all the details she posted it January 1st and it's and it's called State Stereotype. And that's it. I will talk at you guys tomorrow. Love you. Wish me luck on the furniture shopping. Peace. <laughs>